Yo, what's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes, where today we're doing a bunch of reviews, but first I wanna get these Storm Balls or the Storm Products Bowling Balls done since they are uh, the newest, most recent, soon to be coming out. If they're not already, I'd have to go look. I don't know if they are or not, but we've got today is gonna be the TNT by Rotogrip, and then tomorrow we've got the Eternity by 900 Global. We're gonna take these balls out. They both have the same layout, the 45 by four and a half by 45. And again, I try, I try to tell you guys, I keep the same layout on these balls. So that way you guys can look from ball to ball and see the difference from ball to ball to ball, rather than saying, okay, well, what was the layout on this one? What was the layout on that one? You know, there's very rare that I'm gonna change the layouts on these. I want you guys to be able to see exactly what these balls do um, from ball to ball. So you can go back and compare some videos to each other and really get a good idea of if this ball is good for you or if that ball is good for you or whatever. Or maybe you want both. If you want one of these, make sure to hit the link in the description. And before we move on to this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment below what you think of a lot of the new stuff that Storm and Roto Grip and, Roto and, uh, and 900 Global are coming out with. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But we're going to take it out here on a 44 foot lead condition here in a minute. So stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, here we go. Trying something new here. We're gonna do something a little different. I got the stabilizer going. And uh, I got a lot of stuff going on here. I don't know how well this camera is gonna hold up as far as the stabilizer goes. Not that I really need the stabilizer right now, but um, still kind of wanted to put it in use right now. Cause it's actually really cool. Cause I can like move the camera and stuff and nothing will move. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm gonna get some more footage at the next tour stop, but we've got the, the TNTs up first. We're gonna take this bad boy four and a half by 45 by four and a half and we're gonna start right we're gonna go across the lane it's been like 10 minutes so that's not thrown a shot so bear with me here these first couple shots are probably gonna be pretty rough so let me go ahead and whew, try and get this ball Ooh, I'm a little swelled up hopefully it doesn't hang up try and get this ball going in the right direction it actually went pretty close to what I was trying to do so that's good it floated through there, it looked all right. Make sure this is still going. That looks like it's still going. We're solid, should be good. All right. I'm just gonna move three left. This should overhook from here. I'm gonna go like three and two. It did not overhook. I was surprised at how much it actually stayed through that dry it didn't overreact off the dry i was expecting it to overreact this game this ball's got a few games on it now it's not fresh fresh out of box i didn't touch the cover but it does have some uh some use on it let's complete a five board move now we're standing 25 probably gonna be hitting that 13 14 range It's floating through the middle part of the lane really nice. Here's my problem, guys. These next few reviews are gonna be, I'm gonna be questioning a lot of things because now I changed my span and stuff. And I think it made it that much cleaner off my hand and I'm getting it into the lane a lot smoother. So it's probably going to make bowling balls that are generally not as smooth through the front and middle, a little bit smoother than normal. I'm gonna see them clean through there. So I'm gonna be like, mm, I don't know if this ball is super clean or not, but Bear with me, we're just trying to watch what we see and see what happens. We're gonna go five more left, now we're standing 30 with my feet. Probably gonna hit like 17, 18. And I got around that corner pretty good. That one actually kind of hung up a little bit, so that might've been more typical than what I'm used to. That's pretty good though. 
Can you guys see me? Do I look like I'm not zoomed in very good? Here, let me, let me let you see my pretty face a little bit better. Let me see, can I zoom in a little bit? Oh, that's the wrong way, zoom. Oh, I am zoomed in. That's as far as she goes, I guess, so. You got what you got. All right. We're gonna go five more left. Now I'll start to get around it just a little bit. That's surprising. That's not coming around that corner as well as I remember. A little bit smoother of a ball. Let me see if I can get my hand a little bit stronger. Rotate it a little bit better and see what it does. Actually, you know what? Let me grab my creating the difference towel here. We're gonna clean some of this oil off. I'm gonna wipe her down. Any of these products are gonna be available either with a link in the description. One way or another, it's gonna be a link in the description or it's gonna be at creatingthedifference.com. I think Bowler X has them. I'm gonna bring them in here. We're gonna have them here. All right, we wiped her down. Now we're gonna get around it a little bit more. Ooh, we got it right. All right, that one came around the corner pretty good. I gotta take that piece of tape in the back out. My hand swelled a little bit since I was getting the cameras ready and everything. I'm gonna keep looking at the cameras and stuff because I'm, this is a new setup for me, so I'm not used to having, uh, I wanna make sure they're running properly, you know? I guess we'll find out when I go to edit these. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and throw that shot again. Now that my thumb is not super tight and see where this goes. Ooh, that was perfect. Yeah, that's making the ball nice and clean. Very, very clean. If I were to use my CTD scanner, let's see what it scans at right now. I bet you it says it's stable. We're gonna turn this bad boy on. These, I'm gonna to try to make available on my website. But I've still gotta to talk to Mr. Hicklin about that. There we go, get my lid cover off here. Oh, down goes my protector. Get this put on here properly so we can see what's going on. We got her turned on. All right, so the last scan was stable. Let's see, I'm gonna go on the, we're gonna take a look at this on the outside, away from where all the oil is. I'm gonna do it over here and I'm gonna look. See, it says 5,000. So if I show you that last scan, it shows that it was, come on, zoom in on that, there we go. That it was 5,000 for that last scan right there. If I go in on the track area where the oil is, it still shows 5,000, okay. Yeah, so we're above, we're above the, uh, the stable 4,700. And again, I've got some shots on this ball already, so that makes sense. I'm really gonna get around this one. I'm gonna have to slow down a little bit as I move five more left. That's perfect. Yeah, this one's smooth. This one doesn't bang off the back of the pattern. This one just rolls and it's clean and smooth all the way around. This is gonna be a very good ball for when they're difficult. Very good ball for when they're difficult. Let me get up against the ball return here. And wrap my hand around it, nice and slow. Another really good one. See how it just kind of delays, it rolls off the back. It's not doing anything crazy, it's just kind of nice and smooth and rounded. It's not banging off the back of the pattern. It's not creating the hockey stick. Whereas if I, let's, uh, let's compare it to some of these balls I have on the shelf here. I got a primal shock right here. I'll give you a, a little glimpse of this bad boy. Same hand position, same everything. See how much more that ball picks up off the back part of the lane? So this TNT, it's meant to, from what I can see, from what I can see out of my ball reaction, it's clean, it 
tries to read the middle nice and then just rolls off of it. It doesn't pick up and go crazy down lane. Let me give you one more glimpse. We're gonna go with the Widow, that new Widow, 2.0 hybrid. It's got that new cover stock, the HK22. We're gonna do the same thing. Wrap my hand around it, stay nice and slow. See what this does down lane. Much quicker. All right, there you go. So as you can see, that TNT was actually, it's more of a ball to be smoother from what I can tell. It's not gonna be one of those balls that really picks up and just bangs down lane. This is one of their good bowling balls that's gonna read the middle of the lane and be a lot smoother down lane than what you're used to seeing from a storm bowling ball. So this is a good addition in my opinion. Next, we're gonna take a look at the, uh, the Eternity. See if that one is kind of similar. I see them as a little bit similar, but the Eternity is a little bit more pop down lane. I think the TNT is overall a little bit earlier and stronger, but we're gonna see more continuation, more pop down lane than what you saw out of this. So if you wanna get one of these, make sure to head over to bowlerx.com or hit the link in the description. Come on up here, I'll get you one as well. Uh, but that's all I got for you. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Take care.